I am Matty here from Brockstone. So what we're going to be doing here on this job, we have got some gate pillars to put on a nice period property. So we've got a source of brick, uh, but for now we're going to put the foundations in and the strengthening post in the middle today. And then we're going to go and pick the brick up later. So let's get started. Right folks, so what we're doing here, we're building a brick pillar this side to take lots of gates. So we've got double brick pillar there, 18 inch, set back off this corner. And then over this side, the same again. So we've got to dig out of pad both sides, put a steel in, box section, and then brick up around it, fill up the concrete, fill the caps, job done. Let's go. Fighting so. So we're using these eight foot box section with a five milli wall. These will be setting concrete into the ground, obviously, and then it'll have a concrete surround. And we're gonna put some concrete in the middle as well. Feeling in my bones, I can feel it in my face. Hands in the sky, I can feel the winds of change. You live and you learn, and I hope I've seen enough to make something right, make up for what I.
Supporting, propped up, ready to break up. So we've got them 600 in the ground, we've got about 300 of concrete, and then we'll build the rest up and break. Claim heaven, Kevin. <laughs> right, so my plan was to use reclaim brick on this, but what's available at the moment is just potluck as you know what's out there so just there's nothing that's suitable one of them on the reclaim the we went to was a nice brick really good quality but it was it was the wrong color this is more like an orangey and there's a couple of different tones in there this was just like a pure red plus it was 80 mil thick so it was never gonna work there was another batch which you see on the video and some of those are really good but the majority of them were all chipped and because there's so many corners because there's pillars it's not going to look right uh, it's a lovely house so i want to do it justice so my next plan is to go to a brickyard and look for a suitable brick so i think that's the route we're gonna have to go down now to get the job looking right As I said, we've gone for a new brick, so we've actually blended two different bricks because the house, if you'll notice, has got like a mixture of colours within it. I was happy with these, it's got like an orangey tone. These are it's called St. Anne's, so I was happy with them, but they're just a block colour and I wanted a little bit of variation to match the house, so we've mixed it with these Clash B's from Ipstock. So predominantly it's going to be in, in these, but we've got about a third in this colour as well, so we're just going to blend them in to get as good a match as we can to the house. So, I'm coming back and we've got the, our supports in, so we're going to take them off now. Everything's set nice, we're getting set up, and we're going to start building. First brick going in. Ah, it's a long way down, Kev. So usually when we're squaring a pillow up, we'll go measure diagonal points to points. But because we've got this post in the way, obviously we can't do that. So squared it up off the house 
and then you obviously put this side in square. We've got that measurement replicated at this side and both sides, so it's all square. And then we know it's square with the house. If we can put the tape on there, check it off the building, and the same this side. So yeah, got it squared up, which is dead important when you're putting gates in. And then we'll follow that square right through to the other side to set the other pillar in. So now we've got this pillar in, square. We've set it up, brought the line through. So we know where to go with this one. And we're just bringing it in line with these edgings that are in. So when the gate's in, it'll swing clear of those. Red sauce. It's what the doctor ordered, isn't it, Kev? Yeah. <laughs> Spoils.
side, so on to the next one, eh, honey? <laughs>
Here we are, the gates. It's like McDonald's drive, you know. You can have a, a large Big Mac, Diet Coke, and a fries, please. <laughs> Make that large. Cheers, mate. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Here we are again. Uh, back to concrete the insides and to make good at the bottom. Some cabs in the background there, getting the mix on. So we're going to fill all these up. Don't drop your phone. <laughs> and then we're good to go. Come on to the Bang Bang Boogie. Bandits, aren't we? The wet cup bandits. <laughs> the wet what? The wet cup. Oh yeah, he's the cut his head. Cut his head. See. What? You'll just see if it, your head. The wet bandits. Oh, man. it's coming down. Have you know? Oh. Oh. Woo! Okay, so I had to draw up the dimensions for the the new pillar caps. So what I did, there was the existing ones that are on the front of the property so i've matched them and scaled them accordingly to size because the others were two and a half brick whereas ours are two brick so i've got all the dimensions down ready uh, scaled as i say to size and sent over to the masons action right we're on our way where to finally put these pillar caps on chester road trip I've uh, been waiting about, they said, four weeks. And 
it's been more like 10. So it'll be nice to get them on. These bespoke? They are, mate. Yeah, yeah. and they're very heavy. Where they from? So we're not feeling strong. From Dimensional Stone nice. in nice. Yorkshire, somewhere, well, somewhere up there. But yeah, they do look the part. I haven't seen them in the flesh, I've only seen, only seen a photo, but yeah, they do they look boss. Can you wait? Ah, brilliant. Love that. It's gonna be great. Are they gonna be feeling strong, mate? Are they getting stuck on? Yeah, with glue. Lovely. No nails. <laughs> no nails. <laughs> <laughs> but I see T1. Yeah, I tell you what, the weight of them, mate, they won't, they won't <laughs> move, no way. They look heavy. I've had me wheat a bit anyway. <sighs> Let's get it done. Get it done. Nice life, mate. Catch you soon. Yeah, man. 10 4. So here they are. Whoa. <laughs> Beasts. Nice then. Beautiful. Just like you. Look at the finish on it. Heavy doll. Yeah. Let's get them on, eh? <laughs> you ready? Shut up. Uh, after three. One, two, two three. three. This is, it's so small, yeah. it's not as if you can leave it to me, is that? the case when we do it. Okay, it'll go that way with it. And then there, and then here. And then drop it back, yeah, put your hand under there. Yeah. And then drop it back down level. That's it. Yeah. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah. It's all like that. No, that's alright. Um, Stage one, complete. Yeah, yeah,
The way I was thinking then it was the it was as you lifted it, someone at the tailgate up, it would have stopped and then got it on, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You would have been underneath more. Yeah, probably yeah, would have had this body full like that. Well, that one's like that, I'm all right. Yeah. Nice bit of lime water. Big fish in the pool. 